Israel, and welcome to BT Live. And here are my co-hosts. Hi, I'm Andrew Rivera. I'm a senior at Burlington Township High School. I'm Mark Sanchez. I'm a senior at BTHS, too. Christopher Maurice here. I'm a junior here at Township. And Angel, I understand that you were part of homecoming week, which was last week, and you were at the game. How was it? It was actually really great. Like, I actually like when students get involved and stuff, because I came from a different school where there was like no school spirit. Mm -hmm. So it was actually really cool to come to school where everyone's like so involved and there's just so much spirit around. Mark, what about you? I understand that you were recording and stuff. How did you like that? Um, it's pretty unique. You know, it's my first time uh, recording for TV production. It's pretty neat. I enjoyed the club. Um, it's an amazing time. And Chris, I understand you did a couple interviews. How were the interviews? Well, being here at Township during homecoming season is really special. I mean, I was in the hallways when they were decorating. I saw a lot of great decorations and, you know, I did a lot of interviews. Well, let me take you to see it now. Christopher here live from BT Live. In the, seat, in the junior hallway with Joey Serta. Kelly McFadden. Destiny Davis. And what does homecoming mean to you here in Township? Well, homecoming means a couple things. Homecoming means that it's the fall time of year, and that means football games, and then friends going to pumpkin picking, on it, hay ride, and such. Uh, homecoming is very exciting. It's my favorite time of the year. It's a really a chance to get involved with school spirit. I think it means to really like gather together as like a Falcon family and really just do our best to show that we can really like show all the spirit that we have. with all those interviews. And next we're gonna go to an interview with Matt Stahl featuring a special guest. Hi, I'm Matt Stahl here with BT Live. I'm sitting next to Cal Cullen. How Hello. are you doing today, Cal? I'm doing fine, how about you? Doing pretty well. I'm here with Cal today to ask him a few questions, get to know him, get to know his seniors a little better. So let's get started, let's have some fun. All right, sounds all good right. to me. So how does, how does the homecoming football game compare to any regular game? Well, it's different because we know everybody's looking forward to it throughout the whole week. Now, from a preparation standpoint, we're still going to prepare like we do every other week. We're just more excited for this week overall as a team. And we have to go out there and get a big win this weekend. Okay, yeah. Um, and do you have any superstitions from preparing for a game? Like, how do you do it? Anything special you do? Um, sometimes for games at night, I like to go to the actual football field and, like, I don't know. I just like going there before the games and everything because... You it out? Yeah, because, yeah. you know, it's my last year, my senior year, so... I like taking in the idea that, man, like I get to play a game tomorrow. So that's something before I do for football games. Okay, before a game, what's your playlist sound like? What are you listening to in the locker room? That's a good question. Um, if I want to get angry, I like listening to Tyler, the Creator, Eminem. Um, if I want to just feel good for a football game, I listen to more like Kanye, okay. Lil Uzi, and then sometimes I listen to Green Day or Black Keys because that's my favorite rock bands. Um, I'm sure the audience is dying to know, how sweaty do you get during a game? <laughs> how sweaty? Yeah. I'm beyond sweaty, man. <laughs> like, if you touch my arm, I swear, you're going to slip off. Okay. And uh, kind of going along that point, um, if you, you play O-line, offensive line, you yes, block, sir. one of the big men. If you weren't O-lineman, where would you want to play? Quarterback. I can throw the ball real well. You don't believe me? Beat me in the streets, all right? All right, all right. That's fine. And what's your favorite cereal? Get a little personal here. What do you like to eat? What kind of cereal? Well, I'm more of a health guy. Everybody yeah. likes to eat all these sugary cereals. Don't, te don't test me now, all right? Now, everybody's eating all these sugary cereals. I'm out here, I eat crackling oat bread. Oh man, that's my favorite cereal. Well, what is that? I'm sure a lot of people don't. I mean, I know what it is, but can you explain to the audience what is crackling oat bread? It's like a crunchy cereal. It's like oats, basically. It has brown sugar in it. It's very delicious. Very yeah, it good. looks like dog food. So. Um, Next question is, this has been a controversial topic recently, um, is a hot dog a sandwich? I thought you were going to ask me about the anthem. Oh, um, yeah. Hot dogs? Um, well, if it's meat between two buns, then right. sandwich. That's fine. Um, who, what teacher do you admire most at Burlington Township High School? If you, or maybe a couple. On a series? Yeah. 
I look up to Dr. Vasir a lot. He taught me a lot in peer leadership last year, and he still teaches me a lot every day, and I still go to him for advice. So I really look up to him as a role model, academic-wise, Miss Lamateer, yes. and yeah, he put he push. And then this year, Miss Woody, she's an amazing teacher. She's taught me so much, and I, it's awesome to meet somebody who's as passionate about history as I am. Okay, and what would you say your top subject is in here at the school? Like, what's your favorite subject? History, did you say? Yeah, history is my favorite subject. I'm currently taking AP World, so I'm learning about a variety of cultures and societies. I enjoy it. And what do you think you plan on studying in college, if you attend college? Any ideas yet? I am attending college, but right now I'm, I'm still deciding so yeah, on what. you decided at this point? I have an idea. I like organizational management or okay. communications major. That's what I'm shooting for right now. Okay, and are we going to see a um, college football commitment anytime oh, soon? Oh, baby, I don't want to say anything. You uh, know, right, I can't right. give out any details yet. Maybe you don't know. Uh huh. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be we'll be we'll keep we'll we'll be here for you when that happens. I'll be humble. Yes. Okay, and okay. So this is a good question. You're going right. to Seven Eleven or some kind of food mart. You have five dollars. What snack and what drink are you getting? Oh, Brandon Cooper asked me this earlier. Uh, I think I want to get large Slurpees, three dollars. I'm gonna get a large Slurpee, mm -hmm. good old Kit Kat. I love that crunch noise, man. That's a that's a that's a hell of a candy. All right. Yeah. Um, next one. This is this will cause a little bit of debate. Who is the oh. best quarterback in the NFL? Carson Wentz is the best quarterback in the NFL. No debate. He's playing like MVP right now. I yeah. don't know how you he's argue against that. Yeah. I mean, you can talk about Tom Brady's past, but hey, we're talking about right now today. Carson Wentz. Best quarterback in the league. I don't, no debate. What about Dak Prescott? I won't talk bad. Okay. <laughs> I might laugh. And sticking with the NFL and football, who's your pick for the Super Bowl, you think? I don't think the Eagles are going to get all the way. You do or you don't? I don't. You don't? Okay. No. So I think the Kansas City Chiefs are going to get it. That's Alex hot, Smith's that's on fire team. this year. He's playing better than anybody else except for Carson Wentz, obviously. But I think they're more a complete team. I really like Kareem Hunt, too. Okay, and to wrap things up here, um, how do you think the game's going to go this Saturday for against Pemberton for homecoming? Any predictions, scores? How, how, what's your game plan? We obviously we're going to win this weekend. We're very confident about that. But pretty bold statement. Yes. So we are we need to do everything and prepare. It, however, we can't just go out and say, "Oh, we're going to win," and not do anything about it. So I can't give a prediction. All I can say is that we're confident that we're going to win this weekend. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me, Cal. Yeah, of course. And Anytime. I'm, I'm Matt Stahl. BT Live. Cal Cullinan. So that was a nice interview with Matt and Cal. And I'm going to go to Angel and Mark. How was your experience for the pep rally? The pep rally was really fun. I enjoyed myself a lot. Had a little bit of technical difficulties, but it turned out great at the end. For sure, for sure. Different interviews with the football players was an amazing job. Interviews with the staff and students was an excellent job, too. Yep, I had a great time interviewing everyone, so check it out yourself. Hey. Hey.
Interview. I'm here with BT Live. I'm here with Michaela Rush. Whoa, well, oh, judging by your outfit, you're a cheerleader. Right? I am a cheerleader. What grade are you in? I'm a senior here at BTHS. The old class of 2K18. <laughs> so, in your opinion, what was your favorite hallway? Um, personally, I'm sorry, seniors. I really did enjoy the juniors hallway. Okay. Yeah, juniors. They're okay. Of course, I think seniors had it. Are you going to homecoming? I am going to homecoming. Are you excited? I am. Great. Well, thank you for some having us. Thank you for giving me the time for this. Today's going to talk great. Woo! Hello, this is Mark Sanchez speaking at the Front of Rally. here with Keith Basket Kowalski. Keith, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing well. Um, how, how's, how's today going? Today's going great. I'm really excited for today. I'm prepared. Prepared my speech. We're ready to go. All right. I know you're gonna have a wonderful time. Wonderful time. Um, what's, what are we doing here today? All right. We are, we're doing the uh, 2017 Homecoming Pep Rally. Okay. We're going to see which grade wins overall for the entire Homecoming Week. All right, sounds exciting. Uh, pleasure to have you here today. Thank you very much, sir. All right, have a good day. You soon. <laughs> events this week were very fun and a good experience. Yeah, it was really fun, but I do believe the junior should have won because <laughs> homecoming is really rigged. Uh, uh, seniors came on top, 2K team. <laughs> Some people have their disbelief, but hey, seniors won. For so, sure, for sure. Yeah, Ooh. seniors won always. We're the best. But thank you for watching. Catch you guys next time on BT Life. Mm -hmm.